uh, welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to determine elasticities from a demand function or a regression function as the case would be. Alright, so um, I'll indicate um, how basically um, we should be able to calculate uh, the price elasticity of demand, cross elasticity of demand and income elasticity of demand um, for a given function. Alright, so let me read the question and then um, I demonstrate the computations. A company is interested in studying the consumption of beef and chicken um, has estimated the following demand function. So the demand function is given here quantity of beef is given as uh, 5032 minus 54.5p uh, plus 24.25i plus 28.4pc where p is equal to um, 10 price of beef and then income is equal to 100 and the price of chicken is equal to 8 calculate the price elasticity of demand for beef okay so solution solution a where we are asked to calculate the price elasticity of demand for beef price elasticity of demand uh, for beef is given by the formula change in quantity over change in price multiplied by price over quantity now what we have here is the formula for price elasticity of demand i want you to observe something here this we call it as a, a gradient and the gradient is the slope now when we are calculating the price for the price elasticity for beef we will look at the demand function as you are seeing there the price for beef is basically this one here p this one is the price for chicken so the price for beef is here and the gradient for this is this number here which is next to the p that's the gradient and it will take place of this whole part so we'll replace that whole part with the gradient here which is um, negative 54.5 multiplied by um, multiply by price over quantity so what does that uh, mean? It means that I need to calculate the quantity. So let's calculate the quantity. All right, quantity is equal to 5032, I'm getting the same function, minus uh, 54.5. Plus 24.25i plus 28.4pc. I'm going to replace in this function uh, the amounts given here. Where there is P there, I'm putting 10. Where there is I there, I'm putting 100. Where there is PC there, I'm putting 8. Alright, so let me have my Q here. So I'll start uh, 5032 minus open brackets 
54.5 multiplied by 10 close brackets plus open brackets 24.25 multiplied by 100 close brackets plus open brackets 28.4 multiplied by 8 7,139.20 Okay? So that's the answer for quantity I'm just going through again just to make sure that uh, there are no minor errors That's it. So we are we are good with that. That's the quantity. So our Q now, let me write it here. Our Q now is 7139.20. Alright. Derive from that function and replacing everything in that function. Okay? So now, now that we have our Q, we can proceed to calculate uh, the price elasticity. Um, of uh, demand for beef so the gradient like I explained we look we just look at uh, where the price for beef is in the equation it's here the number which is um, which we basically call as the coefficient here becomes the gradient there so now we're going to have um, our P here being 10 And our quantity being the one we calculated there, 7139.20. Negative 54.5 multiplied by 10 uh, divided by 7139.20. That is my price elasticity of demand for beef. Yes, that's my price elasticity of demand for beef. What does this mean? In absolute terms, I mean when we don't consider the negative, I can write this as 0 0.076. Alright, so some examiners, they would express the price elasticity of demand. They would want you to express the price elasticity of demand in absolute term. This is price in elastic. Why is it in elastic? Because when you look at it in absolute term, it's less than 1. Anything less than 1 in uh, absolute terms is in elastic. What does it mean? It simply means that um, the demand for beef is less sensitive to changes in price. What this means is that um, um, when, uh, when they, there is a change in the price of beef, people will still buy beef. In simple terms, I simply say um, a greater change in the price of beef leads to a smaller change in the demand for beef. Meaning beef is what? In elastic, it's less sensitive to changes in the price okay and what makes something to be inelastic is that when the value the absolute value is less than one anything with uh, the price elasticity of demand greater than one indicates that it's what elastic meaning a smaller change in the price leads to a greater change in the quantity demanded that is elastic Elastic is a smaller change in price leading to a greater change in the quantity demanded. In elastic is a greater change in price leading to a smaller change in quantity demanded. Okay. Um, I come to B. 
B, they are requesting you to calculate the income elasticity of demand. So the income elasticity of demand, I go back to the demand function. Uh, this is the demand function. Okay. So uh, the coefficient for income, this is I. The coefficient for income is 24.25. So uh, income elasticity of demand is given as Change in quantity over, of course, here it was change in price, but here it will be change in income. Multiply by income over price. This is the gradient. The gradient represents the slope, which is the coefficient there. So where there is um, this gradient, I'll put 24.25 multiplied by, uh, what's my income, 100 over over price what's my um not not over price sorry over quantity beg your pardon over quantity my quantity still maintains the one that i calculated from this uh, uh equation and then uh, that's seven thousand one hundred and thirty nine point two zero so I can calculate now 24 multiplied by 24.25 multiplied by 100 divided by 7139.20 uh, gives me um, 0 0.340. 0 0.340. Again, this indicates um, inelastic because it's less than one so the income elasticity of demand is inelastic meaning um, a greater change in income only leads to a smaller change in the quantity of beef demanded so even if you increase the income of somebody from um, $1,000 to $2,000 you double it uh, their consumption for beef is not going to double. Meaning they will still maintain to consume almost the same levels or by slight change of uh, kgs of beef. Alright? Okay. Uh, I come here, see, I'm calculating the cross elasticity of demand between beef and chicken. Cross elasticity of demand, change in quantity over change in the price of chicken, multiplied by price of chicken over quantity. Like I have always indicated now, we now know this is the gradient, so I'm looking for the price of chicken. The price of chicken is here. PC and the coefficient is 28.4 20, which is going to replace the entire gradient here 28.4 and then uh, the price of chicken itself was given by the examiner which is 8 over my quantity which is uh, which remains the same 7139.20 what do I obtain here 28.4 multiply by 8 divided by 7139.20 I have 0 0.032 okay now <laughs> this too indicates that um, it's uh, an elastic um, at that level of um, price so what does this uh, entail it entails that um, the change in the price of chicken uh, will not affect much the demand for beef because it's what inelastic i'm just giving an example what if it was 1.5 would have said it's elastic okay if it's elastic it simply means that the change in the price of chicken affects the demand uh, for the quantity of beef 
being what? Being bought. That is what it means when it's elastic. But it's inelastic, meaning the change in the price of chicken does not lead much. It does lead, yes, it does lead to the change in the, um, in the beef consumption, but does not lead much because it's what? Inelastic. Are we together? So this is uh, the interpretation that I can give and this is how we compute um, actually um, the uh, elasticities uh, from a given demand um, function. From a given uh, demand uh, function. Alright, thank you.